Lawyers failed Judge Wendy Potts' courtroom, and they were all here on one case involving what was supposed to be a high-end retail and luxury living development, but it's turned into the eyesore on Telegraph. As I drive down Telegraph, I wonder what's going to happen with my case. Most of the lawyers here are representing contractors who simply want their money, or should we say some of what's owed to them, after the $350 million Bloomfield Park project went belly up. The owner moved on and left the bank uh, you know, with the building in you know, somewhat of a mess with 100 lien claims to deal with. While the settlement is confidential, it's believed to be about 14 cents on each dollar owed. Lawyers for Wells Fargo reached the settlement agreement with 93 of the companies holding liens on the property that sits on the border of Bloomfield Township in Pontiac. But four companies have not agreed to the settlement. Attorney Steve Wright represents some contractors who have reached the settlement, as well as the few holdouts. You know, if you provided millions of dollars of work and you're asked to take pennies on the dollar, sometimes it's worth just fighting than to take pennies on the dollar. The Bloomfield Park project was plagued with lending problems and money disputes. That halted construction several years ago. And even if deals are reached with every lien holder, Wells Fargo still has to settle issues with the property owners as well as another mortgage holder. In Oakland County, Kimberly Cray, Channel 7 Action News.